in the first problem of section 3.6, we revolve the graph of uh, y equals 3x plus 4 around the x-axis and look at the surface area um, of the solid generated uh, from with x values between 3 and 7. So the area that we're looking at um, is going to be, well, let's see, the, looking at the graph of y equals 3x plus 4. The graph is going to look something like this. And we're interested in values from uh, x equals 3, or right, x equals 3 to 7. So, let's see, we're going to be rotating this portion of the graph around the x-axis. And looking at the surface area of the resulting, um, of the resulting object. Now remember the, the formula for surface area uh, is the integral from, now we're going to look at our x values from 3 to 7. Uh, well, we're just going to do kind of a similar thing as what we did in um, finding the volume, but this time instead of taking the area of a cross section and kind of multiplying or taking the continuous sum of the infinitesimal, then we're going to take the um, the circumference of the cross section. So we're going to take cross, cross section, cross section, kind of find what we would think of to be as the infinitesimal um, infinitesimal surface area, which is just the circumference multiplied by an infinitesimal thickness, and then take the continuous sum as we go from three to seven. So the formula is going to be uh, two pi times the radius, which is just going to be the height of the, um, of the graph at the point x. So that's just equal to uh, 3x plus 4. And we're going to multiply that by uh, arc length, uh, which is going to be 1 plus dy dx. But dy dx is just, or I should say, 1 squared plus dy dx squared. Uh, but dy dx is just 3. Right. So the integral that we're really interested in is the integral from 3 to 7 of, uh, let's see, let's pull out the 2 pi times, this is the square root of 10, so 2 pi square root 10, and, and we're just left with the integral of 3x plus 4. All right, so if we work this out, this is uh, 3 halves x squared plus 4x, and it's evaluated from 3 to 7. And now we have 3 halves times 49 uh, plus 4 times 7, which is 28, and minus Let's see, 27 over 2 minus 12. And if you work all that out, if you plug that into a calculator, you find that this is approximately equal to, I believe, 1510.06. Uh,